So let's go for the next one. This was another canvas I was not entirely happy with. It is pretty shiny when the sunlight hits it. It's mostly gold and bronze. Um, I'm using the rest amount of the paint that I'm having. I'm making a um, puddle pour, puddle ring pour, straight pour, whatever it's called. And yeah, let's see how it works. I'm going to add a tiny bit of silicone to the paint just to see how that works out. Sorry, most of my cups look messy. Most of you will already know. Um, this is just because I reuse them as often as I can. Also with resin, this cup is only fillable until here. The rest is resin and stuff. So this is layers over layers over layers of resin and acrylics. I just don't like wasting stuff. So yeah, just in case you wonder why my cups always look like they look. Okay, that was too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost empty, so I blocked over. I'm not falling for it. It lacks of definition for my taste. But I don't give up yet. We still have a bit of paint left here. I'm going to add some black. Perhaps we can make something space scene looking out of it.
well I think I should have left the cells in <laughs> but um, anyways this is how it looks now I really like the upper part don't like so much center part perhaps I can bring it down more there's nothing to lose at this point completely lost shape so I'm pulling off most of the color that I'm having on the bottom side here as the upper part coming down looks like marble pretty cool I must say so I'm going to, to leave most of this and just a bit of this chaotic part down here I think this is something I can live with this is very cool, especially this part here. And it dried super pretty! <laughs> I'm so happy with the result in the dried version. I'm actually even happier than in the red form. So the colors dried really, really vibrant, beautiful. Okay, it's a dark one, but those pigments again really made it work for me. They glitter, they shimmer as if they were made with resin pigments and when I tilted against the sunlight and I filmed it outside in the sun so you can see where these, where these pigments really hit and do their job really really well. So they stand great against the black so when the sun goes along there you can see the fine lacing. I really really love this blue turquoisey blob of cells in the bottom right corner. This is just so awesome and the camera actually cannot really catch its entire beauty so it's really cool yeah seeing it in person. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to play more with these pigments in the future and Leslie already contacted me as well telling that I can use more of the pigments to get a higher saturation so this is coming in one of my yeah, coming videos. <laughs> playing more with them and yeah I really hope you had fun watching let me know what you think about the result if you probably would have stopped somewhere in between because this was pretty tilting intense I'd say so let me know where you have probably stopped or if you think my result is perhaps the best that could have been done there so give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and if you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed I would love if you would subscribe and have a look at a couple of my videos, of course. If you have questions, leave me down below in the comment section. Have a look at my Etsy shop if you have some free walls and need some paintings. <laughs> and if you want to get in touch with me, you can use my social media links, which are also down in the video description. So I thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you for watching. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. <laughs> have a great day. Bye bye.